Hi there, I'm Mike Thornton and in this series of videos we're going to get to grips with Isotope's RX3 audio restoration software. Now why do we need restoration software in this digital world with so much more dynamic range available to us? Well unfortunately the world has got noisier so that many of our excellent digital recordings are full of sounds we'd rather not have. And it's getting harder and harder to find quiet locations. Even in studios and sound stages where we've got so much more control over the recording environment, we now have lights and other necessary kit with fans and the like, and they can be very noisy. So now more than ever, we need a tool set that will help us to remove the unwanted sounds without impacting on the sounds that we want. Here are a few examples. We often want to be able to record on location, but sometimes when we get back and play back the audio, we realise that the background sounds are higher than we would like. That all happened. I'd like to think that most of the people that were from Digidesign and as that transitioned to Avid, we were all closet rockers. I mean, it all came. And then sometimes we have to record in a space that is too reverberant. I think this can be sustained in its current form for a while, but I think then you have to think forwards and think. You know, do you move to a different building? Then there may be occasions where there are unwanted sudden sounds, like the camera shutter noise in this wedding recording. I do solemnly declare, I do solemnly declare that I know not, that I know not of any lawful impediment of any law. The next one is clicks. Now that could be digital clicks, or they could be clicks from a vinyl recording like this one. Another problem we can come across is hum or buzz, where we have either a low level or even a high level hum because of a screening problem or such like. Then there can be the situation where a producer wants to use an archive recording, perhaps something that's been recorded a long time ago and may no longer be at its best. Well, it's a funny name. Is it? I don't really expect a girl like you to have a funny name. Over this video series, I'm going to show you how you can use Isotope RX3 to remove these and other unwanted sounds. Isotope's RX3 comes as a standalone application or as a range of plugins. The plugins are great and help you to get really great results quickly within your favourite DAW. And I'm using plugins more and more. But to unlock the full power of RX3, I use it in standalone mode, and that's what I'm going to be using for most of this series. Isotope RX3 comes in two versions, RX3 and RX3 Advanced. The Advanced version has a number of additional features not available in normal RX. Although I'll be using RX Advanced throughout this series, I will always make it clear if a particular feature is only available in the Advanced version. For example, if we go into the Denoise module, and this adaptive mode is only available in RX3 Advanced. But rest assured, I'll always point out if I'm using a feature that's only available in RX3 Advanced. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.